What's up guys, this is the Brave One and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Danish Empire. So to run off my last time, goddamn garrison mortars really screwed me over in my Berlin attack. So they're going to be our target for the next, well our priority target for the next turn. So let's get these guys back and then let's get ready to rebuild the army. Or I might even just send, bring over the London garrison because I'm gunning for them now massively um, although really I should wait till next turn rebuild and then go after them again oh god I hate mortars so damn much um, are you going to attack them weren't you yes let's let's destroy oh god yeah Ugh. <laughs> really wound me up. I've, ju I've just played it so I've still got the emotions for it and I'm like oh god damn I hate mortars but how good AI mortars are and why I'm definitely right to constantly avoid them at all costs. So then let's deploy you. I mean they've got this they've got their damn hill in the centre so I might have to deploy them way off. to put them way off just to give them a target but I think this is going to be a fairly simple infantry advance to destroy them how does my not even get involved Let's get ready Yeah, they're in range of my houses. Let's drop my heavy cavalry on their flank. Let's run this infantry. So let's take this hill. Let's see what we got. Simple unit, the Nordic Legion. Grenadiers and company infantry. I mean, they've all got stuck on this cart. Just form a series of squares. Silly camels. So they are pushing up, so we're going to want to more oh, pikemen. No, thank you. Run the infantry. Engaging the broken camels. Who may come back because there's still quite a lot of them. But let's redeploy. Redeploy our line. back. Let's run two units of bait infantry over for them. Good lads. This is 
troop handling in this battle is very poor. Keep an eye on the camel mercenaries. We're wavering for some unknown reason. The Nordic Legion proving themselves fairly cowardly on the initial battle. Charge the cavalry past the camels. Because they've that's just a massive immediate route. Let's throw the infantry into camel mercenaries. Let's get my cavalry to run through them. Run through them. Because as we've got them, we may as well shoot them up. Now ah, they've also got stuck on some stupid little post, little cart. Slice and dice. Oh, actually, hold on. Make sure he doesn't run through any spikes. Nah, he'll be okay like that. I think. Yeah. Run him over here. Engage the bowmen. My cavalry are going to get knackered very quickly doing this, but I'll come up, come after these guys and kill them. Don't worry about the, the bowmen so much. Killing these muskets are pretty handy. So where are you? No, they're not, not going to get to the pikes before they escape. Sadly. Oh, they're close. Damn right, it's a decisive victory. Up. Pushing them up the coast. Good. 91 lost for 991 killed. What? That's so frustrating. Oh, that's even more frustrating. Doing all that because of that, I'm now all the way back here. Let's get him back to the position there. I'm still waiting in in Hyderabad because I want to see if one of these guys tries to go after me. So do I go? I can march through here and into Goa and keep all my enemies in one direction. It somewhat left the way open to um, Hyderabad, but I've got a sizable garrison there, so I'm not concerned about what the AI may or may not decide to do. Spain has declared on me as a purr, so let's see who joins me. Crucially, does France join them? So Spain has joined them. France hasn't joined them. But I've lost my Polish ally. <laughs> Come here. Oh, there goes the rem remnants of that army. Spring. Fair enough. Option to intercept. Well... Lost no ships. Ah, oh, too bad they they escaped. Considering they were blockaded, I thought they would have all died. No, screw you, Poland. You're done. Is siege them and force them to sally out. Then I could have really weakened them and then moved in. 
standard this. Why did I diverge? So let's see what happens. I don't like how they've got troops moving up to the Finnish border. Persians are being scamps. The Mughals might have taken the bait. Ooh, they have attacked me outside the field. Let's absolutely do it. Lots of cavalry, lots of melee troops, lots of weak melee troops. Let's do it. This gives us an opportunity to knock them back, so we shouldn't ignore this opportunity to do quite a critical bit of damage. Not necessarily a massive amount of damage. It pushes the... It'll destroy that field army, hopefully, and it'll push the garrison force back. As we continue our march through India, and this is a lovely bit of terrain. I think I'm a little, ooh, okay. My hard drive just turned off and on again. So let's put these guys here. Unfortunately, because we have them all on a all of them in front of us, we know we haven't got to worry about um, flanking infantry so much. And we've got lots of cavalry also to take advantage of any fleeing troops. General in the centre. So I want these guys to take this hill. Move my cavalry up on top. I want this cavalry just this artillery just to scoot up just a little bit. Let's get our cavalry out and out on the battlefield because we're gonna need it. Deploy it now. Fantastic opportunity to kill some bowmen immediately. Unlimber this artillery and get them immediately ready to fire canister shot. Maybe even pull these guys forward a bit, although they've got a pretty terrible firing position. Drive my cavalry on out of the way, then go into this unit of Kizabishi Musketeers. Let's turn this part of the flank around. Run on my cavalry over to go deal with the artillery. Let's change this artillery to round shot and continue just to pound into these these guys fleeing. Turn off fire roll here. Okay, 
let's break combat here. Turn firewall back on, but make sure we get our cavalry away quickly. Okay, let's break this cavalry off as well. Go after their gunners. Good. Their men have broke. Where's my general? Look at this beautiful sight. shot. The cavalry that are coming to join them. Let's get this cavalry flying round shot into the horsemen. Services have charged the second regiment of foot. So the enemy cavalry is coming in from the from the left. Let's bring my cavalry back around. Is routing. Oh god, it met the Zimdari horseman. It's my fold this flanking, looking a bit vulnerable. Let's do something like this. Fusely should be able to kill these native lances. Artillery aim at this unit general's bodyguard to the rear. get my cavalry back to safety. The 40th Regiment of Foot run back to here. Run my cavalry away. Come on, fusiliers, make ready. Musketeers.
Troopers. The elephants are a tricky one. Managed to make the route though, which is pretty good. Blast the camels with canister shot. Slightly advance up the line. So I could well lose this cavalry as well. Well, unless I turn them around and immediately get them to engage Zimandari horsemen. Let's run the grenadiers back to this square. these camels should fall before the gate, before the square. Let's form another square within a square. First Kalmar's just been doing some solid shooting. Let's push up our line. General. Coming back into the square formation with their camels. But it will be their doom. Slim brought my guns. More dervishes, general's bodyguard. I think it's all their cavalry's dead. Let's keep this unit on round shot, plinking at. I mean, the general's out of range, but let's keep going for him. Okay, let's bring this infantry up. Let's bring up a general. Stuff. Good lads. Okay, let's keep the cavalry in reserve for when the next mass break happens. Positioning for artillery. Okay, let's keep my general away from the levee, but let's let my cavalry have a go because they are wavering. And they're broken. Let's pull them back. Let's bring these 
infantry up to join the line. Charge in because they're wavering. And they're routing. Dervish on the flank. South, one to run to the north. Come on, let's jump again. Come on. It's one to hit. Two dervishes from every angle. So they're doing lots of damage to us, but we're doing lots of damage to them. Massacre these dervishes, then we can form our line, get our artillery set up on the hill. Still plinking? We might have done some good. Charge into the back of the Hindu warriors. We had to swamp these guys, otherwise if I sent them in one by one, then they would eventually pick us off. still eager. We've lost so many men. It's because they're winning. Come on, Marines. God damn it. down. Come on, we should be whittling down their confidence now somewhat. Charge General's bodyguard I suppose because he was wavering. General. Finally, after all this time, they've realized, hang on a minute, this might not have been one of our better ideas.
Go, go, Gadget General. I think that's everyone. Oh. Okay. Continue. Go, go, Gadget General. There's everyone. All my cavalry are employed. You go after them. You continue to try kill this unit. This has taken a battering. We have taken a battering in this fight. Try at least knock out this infantry guard unit. Yeah, it was a bit of a coin toss at points. Nevertheless, we'll have done more damage to them, no doubt. One and a half thousand compared to their nearly six thousand. So they've retreated. The garrison retreated. Garrison's reformed. Oh, let's auto resolve that. Vigor. Slice. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, oh, the Georgians. The Georgians are on the move. Greece. Greek, Greek navy's on the move. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Let's upgrade it. So otherwise it'll just keep going after me. Lots of blockaded ports. New building in Denmark. So we can pick up this artillery at least. Drop it off back to the mainland. Back to the city. Okay, first let's focus on recruitment. So I want three units of I'll tell you one house there. Let's get two guard units. Let's get general's bodyguard because my general valiantly died. Let's get two units of heavy cavalry because we're going to be in Europe. Actually, no, let's get one because we'll be in a city. And two grenadier guards. Good. You'll pay for this, Prussia. Why didn't you let me just invade you? Um, but one potential route for my London garrison might be to go and do some do some battling maybe in Morocco because these are all bandoleros light infantry that's more of a conventional army let's add some top quality marines and let's add some Fusiliers. And I've already got enough, more than enough heavy cavalry. Two howitzers, three artillery. It's probably way too many, but we'll do some mix and match and we'll also leave some garrison troops behind. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, okay. Falling back to Hyderabad. So where's the first Kalman? They're still okay. Let's try and keep my infantry experienced. Because we can always require more. So how many do we need? Three units. Take one company, two supplies. Who are also in need of a bit of combining. Although I think I've just killed that a really experienced unit. Nevertheless, sacrifices have got to happen. Cool. And Bruno kill Jai Hassan. 
and you taking hold of this bridge. So next turn, or well next part, looking at the timer, um, I'm going to have to do lots and lots of uh, replenishment here in India. And let's also free up my port. Good stuff, because they're also having to start to rely on poor quality infantry, which is always nice. So doing as much replenishment as I can, but actually, hold on. Because I'm at war with Spain. So that gives us a... Oh, nearly. Embark them on the ships. Let's go after Santo Domingo. It's en route. Blockade the Spanish fleet. So we're going to take Santo Domingo. And we're also going to take Havana. May even take Florida just to have a foothold on the continent. Heroic death, fly off Rask. That was against, that was in this fight here. Coming after you, Berlin. Coming after you big. Um, but anyway, looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Denmark. Cheers, guys.